In part 11 of our build guide, we start reorganizing the body harness to fit the goblin. Tape the first few inches of wires coming out of the gray fuse block multi-plug. Then install the gray cover. Repeat this process for the other large plugs of the body harness. Be careful with overflexing the housings. Time and heat can cause them to become brittle. The black PCM plug and the blue BCM plugs need zip ties around the wires before the covers are installed. The blue BCM plug also requires a zip tie on the outside of the covers. Use two of your donor 7mm bolts to secure the fuse block housing to a sawhorse. The screws need to be the ones with pointed ends to be able to pierce the wood. Insert the PCM and TCM into their slots. Connect the PCM plug and secure the latch. Install the three fuse box multi-plugs. Tape the gray multi-plug harness until it gets near the PCM harness and then tape them together for a few inches. Cut the black wire of the brake fluid reservoir about one foot back from the connector. Untangle the pink wire from the harness as you work up toward the BCM plugs. Untie the gray, tan, and purple fuel pump wires. Untangle them from the body harness back to the fuse box. Cut the passenger side tail light wires. They will be green, black, and brown. Cut the side marker wires as well. Pull the green and two brown wires back through the harness. The brown wires will end up at a multi-wire junction. Cut them there. Reroute the green brake light wire toward the fuse box. Repeat the process for the driver's side. The tail light wires will be yellow, black, and brown. The side marker lights will be brown and black like the passenger side. There is one extra brown wire that came from the license plate light. It was cut earlier in the trunk of the donor. Separate these brown wires from the harness. Cut and remove two of the three brown wires at the multi-wire junction. Reroute the leftover brown wire toward the fuse box. Reroute the yellow brake wire toward the fuse box. Cut both pairs of backup light wires. Each pair has one black and one light green wire. Separate the two light green wires back to a three wire junction. Cut and remove the pair from the harness. Untangle the remaining light green wire from the harness back to the fuse box. Cut the center brake light wires. They are black and light blue. Untangle the light blue wire from the harness back to the fuse box.
Now locate these five tail light wires near the fuse box and roll them up for later use. They should be green, yellow, brown, light green, and light blue. Locate the three fuel pump wires and roll them up for later use. They should be gray, tan, and purple. Locate the fused red BCM wire and cut the long wire about six inches past the black plug. Untangle the wire from the harness back to the BCM plugs. Find the battery current sensor plug. It will have white, black, and gray wires. Untangle the current sensor wires and plug from the harness back. Locate the driver's side ground lug and roll up all the grounds attached to it. Do the same with the passenger side ground lug. This one will include the large defroster wire. This ground lug will be reused later. Pull the loose body harness ground wires back to the ground lugs. Install the red and blue BCM plugs into the BCM. Aim the wires from the red plug toward the blue plug's wires and tape them together as shown. In the next video, we'll continue to reorganize the body harness to fit the goblin.